I'm Edie Ekman. I'm a knit and crochet designer and teacher and the author of the Crochet Answer Book. I'm going to show you how to do single crochet. Now, single crochet has to be worked into something, so I'll show you how to do it both into a foundation chain and into existing stitches. Be aware that what we in the United States call single crochet, the Brits call double crochet. You need to know when you're following a pattern, whether it's a British pattern or an American pattern, so you'll be using the right technique. When working stitches into a foundation chain, you can never work directly into the very first stitch below the hook. You always have to skip at least one, and you'll skip a different number depending on what stitch you're doing. But in single crochet, we skip one chain and work into the second chain from the hook. Now, where am I going to put my hook? There are two loops. There's a top loop and a bottom loop. And you can also see that there's kind of a little piece of yarn coming out between that V. I'm going to work under those first two loops and right above the bottom loop. I'm going to insert my hook and draw up a stitch from my working yarn. Now I have two loops on my hook. Then I'll push back to do a yarn over and pull through two loops to create a single crochet. Let me show you again. I'm going to work into the next chain by working right above that bottom loop. I want to be careful not to split my yarn. I'll go in, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through two loops. I'll do that all the way across. Now you want to not make it too tight and you want to control what's coming off your hook by using your middle finger and your thumb. You may eventually find other ways to control the work, but this is the way I recommend for new crocheters. If you made your chain too tight, you're going to be struggling to get your hook into the chain. If you can't pretty easily insert that hook into the chain, you need to rip out everything, go back and redo your chain more loosely. This working a single crochet into a foundation chain really is one of the hardest things about crochet. This is not my favorite part of crochet and unfortunately, it's the first thing a lot of us have to do when we're learning to crochet. Don't get frustrated. As I come to the final chain, you'll see I have a slip knot there, but then I have this last chain. I need to work into the very last chain, which can be a little tricky. And here I have my first row of single crochet. This is the front of the fabric and this is the back of the fabric. But I'm going to turn now and work in the other direction. I'm going to turn and I need to chain one at the beginning of the row. Chain one to make a turning chain for single crochet. Now I'm going to identify the top of all my stitches. Do you see those nice V's marching across the top? That's what I'm going to be working into now. I'm going to be working under both loops of the V. So here's my first stitch. There's my turning chain. There's my first stitch. Go under both loops. The second round is really much easier to work into. Now, at, whoops, as you work, you may find you like holding your yarn a different way. I've shown you one way to hold it. I tend to do something a little bit different, which works for me, but you'll have to figure out your own way of managing the yarn. As long as you can keep your stitches even and not too tight, you'll be fine. Now, 
Now you can see the front of the stitches are here and the back of the first row is here. So single crochet fabric work back and forth is actually reversible. Sometimes you'll be working single crochet in rounds with the right side facing every time and it looks a little different. Let me show you what that looks like. I'm starting again with a chain but this time I'm going to bend the chain around and slip stitch in the very first chain I made to create a ring and then I'll begin working around this ring putting single crochets into each chain. To start with I have to chain one because I have to get up to begin my next row or round to, to begin the next level and I will single crochet into the first stitch. Now that's the stitch I slip stitched into but that's my very first chain so I need to single crochet in that chain and then I'll single crochet into each chain around. Notice I'm actually catching my yarn tail under each stitch that I make. That helps me with weaving in ends later. So this is the same single crochet that I showed you before. Working below the top two loops right above that bottom loop of the V. If your chain is too tight and you can't get your hook in there, you need to take it all out and start again until your chain is loose enough to easily fit your hook into it to make your single crochet. Here I am almost back at the end. This is the last chain that I have. Now I'm just going to continue working in a spiral. So I'm not joining the end of the round, I'm just going to work into the first stitch of the previous round. So I'll go under both loops of that V. Now I'm not going to be able to recognize this the next time I come around because I've joined those rounds. So I'm going to put a stitch marker in the first stitch of the round so I know when I come back to it, that's the next stitch, the first stitch of the next round. There's my stitch marker and then I'll just work under each stitch around. I've shown you a couple of ways single crochet can be used. You'll use single crochet throughout all your crocheting career and it will be in different situations. It may look a little different, but now you know the basics.